Um, is he on right away? First, I got to start apologizing. Goodness sakes, you've been waiting for five and a half hours to come on with us. Uh, and wait a minute, let me get my hair down. I got, you know, this, these short haired guys, you got to have something to be envious of. Uh, have you been listening to everything? Pretty much. Ladies and gentlemen, happy Dan. Hey everybody. Dan, can I, uh, can I toot your horn a little bit? And then we'll just. Oh, kind of there's a family right show. It. Well, if you don't, I will. Listen, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to toot Dan's horn a little bit. Not only has he been waiting a long time to come on, uh, and if any, if I get anything wrong, first of all, let me say this: International Cigars has been one of our corporate sponsors since the very beginning. And anybody who goes to GoldStarRide.org, click on the donate and get stuff button, and then make a twenty-five dollar donation and send us a note that says "Send me cigars." We're going to send you some of the hand-rolled cigars from Gold Star Ride Foundation. Um, so I appreciate you giving me a chance to say that. You've had a couple cigars from Gold from International Cigars, haven't you, Dan? Oh, yeah. I've had a couple. I've uh, donated some, and uh, uh, I've don made donations and have uh, gotten my uh, cigars from the um, from your beautiful wife, your smoking hot wife, or however you want. <laughs> I get to call her that. You can say it as long as you include the word wife yes, and yours. Right. So it's my smoking hot wife. Smoking uh, hot wife. Okay, so you correct me if I get any of this stuff wrong, okay, Dan? Oh, you know I Dan will. is a motorcycle enthusiast extraordinaire. Well, I don't know about extraordinaire. Hey, I, I'm getting, I'm tooting the horn. I can blow it on any note I want. Um, Dan is one of only 81 people who have ridden okay. his motorcycle 89. to 49 states in 10 days or less. Well, actually, there was 89 folks that did it before. Me. Oh, so you were number 90 of on the list. So there's only 90 people on the list. That when I put, did it, yes. Put your motorcycle into 49 states in less than 10 days. That's not an easy task. You've it also earned... Our, uh, it was difficult, but we got through it. You've also earned a patch for riding your motorcycle 1,500 miles in a single 24-hour period, right? Yeah, I've done that twice. Uh, once for 1,620 miles and once for 1,530. Uh, What's that recognition called? That is the uh, uh, Bun Burner Gold. Bun Burner uh, Gold. Yes, Bun so, Burner Gold. That is a ride that is uh, sanctioned by the Iron Butt Association. And how many patches do you have for riding your motorcycle 1,000 miles in 24 hours? Oh, more than a dozen, I believe. Okay, uh, I more count. than a I dozen, 20, I believe. He doesn't 20. even know the number. Okay, Gabe? <laughs> Who was right? Was I right when I said motorcycle enthusiast extraordinaire? Well, I, I, like I tuned motorcycle. out to your words a long time ago, uh, Tony. I've just listened to the guest. I'm on the guest side. Oh, okay. Well, open the door and I'll just talk louder, okay? Just just for you. Um, we want to have a lot of fun here. And one of the reasons that I, you know, I'm, now I'm talking to the audience, just in case they still care if I say anything or not. <laughs> One of the reasons that I wanted Dan to be on board with us is because we are a motor motorcycle organization. And being a motorcycle organization means we should talk motorcycles once in a while. And who better to bring it on and, and talk a little bit about motorcycles than somebody who's got more than a little experience. That's one of the reasons I wanted you to come on today. And that's why I wanted to toot your horn for you. Now, the real reason, I mean, the, the coup d'etat of reasons for you and I to have this conversation at this moment in time is what we're calling the Gold Star Ride Saddle Soar 1000, right? Correct, yep. It's the first annual Gold Star Ride Saddle Soar 1000. Well, tell the good people what a Gold Star Ride Saddle Soar 1000 will be. It is a ride of 1,000 miles in less than 24 hours. We will be riding, we will be starting from Rogers, Minnesota, and uh, we will make our way down to Ottawa, Kansas um, as our turnaround point. Um, and we're gonna be having lunch down in, basically it's Kansas City. So everybody gets to say, yeah, we rode down to Kansas City for lunch. Well, it's Kansas City the way 
uh, Prior Lake is Minneapolis, right? Yep, exactly. So we're going to be going to the American Legion in Ottawa, Kansas. American Legion number 33. Um, there, I've been in uh, communication with those wonderful folks in the auxiliary. You, you found some um, people working there. Pardon me? You found some people working there. Oh, yeah. Oh, so awesome. um, I was able to uh, talk with them via Facebook. And they are, uh, right now we're in talks, so we can have our lunch set up down there. And it sounds like a bunch of awesome folks down there, a bunch of great patriots. And uh, so they're going to help us out with some lunch. And then we're going to come back. Hopefully we don't eat too much and get sleepy and tired and want to take a nap. But, uh, yeah, we'll turn around and come back. And hopefully uh, everybody makes it back. Um, basically, I have a couple sayings that anybody who starts my ride finishes my ride unless your motorcycle breaks. Um so but we don't, we don't let any anybody yet. Break. Everybody's finished. So uh, we're going to have some fun. And a lot of people are going to earn their stripes, their first uh, iron butt stripe. And uh, a lot of veteran iron butt riders will be on here as well. And we're going to work on trying to get everybody to um, procure donations of uh, at least $500 per rider. So my goal is to get uh, over $10,000 worth of donations for the Gold Star Ride Foundation. Man, that is really a wonderful thing to hear you say. That's really great. So let me uh, backtrack just a little bit. The idea Absolutely. would be for those people who want to come along to basically hit up their friends to support them in the thing, and they raise the money, and that money becomes their entry fee to do this particular ride. Exactly. And, of course, it's so the Gold Star Ride Fund. Employer. Right. Uh, Yep, uh, your friends or whatever. I mean, um, you know, we'll take more than five hundred dollars, and we're gonna have some prizes for folks that uh, that the do three that top uh, donations. You know, so, we might we might just have an autographed jersey of uh, what's his name, Diggs, first name, Stefan Diggs. We might just have an autographed jersey for the person who raises the most money to be part of this Gold Star Ride. Saddle Soar 1000. Yep. And so, again, you can find it on, uh, uh, there's an event created on Facebook. It is titled First Annual Gold Star Ride Foundation Saddle Soar 1000. And just for the people who are still thinking that they're going to be locked up in their house, the current planned date for this is? June 27th. June 27th. So for those yep. of you who are worried about the fishing opener, it's long after that. And for those of you who are worried about riding your motorcycle for a thousand miles on Father's Day weekend, it's after that too. But there you go. Right? And if you want to spend the whole Fourth of July weekend riding your motorcycle, you're that's no, there's no conflict there either. There you go. So we're gonna have a lot of fun with this. Uh, Happy Dan, that's a nickname for you, right? Yes, it is. And and you like it as much as I like being the token squid, right? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it doesn't really end there, does it? No, you no, served no. our country, didn't you, Dan? Oh yeah, yeah. I've I've done my time. <laughs> He's like a typical uh, veteran. It it's uh, close to the vest. We don't like to talk about it necessarily. I don't mind saying, "Yep, I did it," but then we pretty much get tight lipped after that, and that's okay because I'm the same way. I haven't said very much about my service at all tonight. I haven't even pointed to that. I will right now. You got one of them oh, on you your go. vest. So, do, do you still no, have your, uh, yeah, you have I think your this is going to be a fun ride. I'm looking forward to it. There's, uh, um, I've already got, well, with you and myself, that will be six on the ride. Uh, I'm looking forward to having between 20 and 25. Uh, I'm going to cap it at 25. It just makes it more difficult okay. to try and, uh, um, so, so let me put emphasis on that. It's the first 25 who sign up who get to do this. So if you're number 26, then you're then you're on reserve. So uh, and just to have a little bit of fun with it, it's kind of like the old movie, the Cannonball Run movie, right? A <laughs> little bit, <laughs> <laughs> but we're not we're not breaking the speed limit. Uh, we're not fracturing it as bad. Let's put it that way. <laughs> yes, and it's not an individual thing. We're going to be riding as a group. Yep, we'll be riding so, in a group, in formation, staggered formation. We're going to have a driver's meeting at 4 a.m. at the Denny's in Rogers. Um, and then uh, we'll, we'll 
we will be going across the street over to the holiday station and everybody will get gassed up, get their gas receipts, because we'll need a receipt at every gas stop to prove that we, we were actually we can get into We can get into the finite details of how you make sure that you get your patch as we get a little bit closer to it. But yep. um, what name do they find that event under on Facebook? It is uh, listed under first annual Gold Star Ride Foundation Saddle Soar 1000. And if if I'm not mistaken, you made the Gold Star Ride Foundation a co-host for that event? I uh, made or, you a co-host. So Tony Price is a co-host. I'm a co-host. Tony Price is. So, so those are the ways you that you find that. that uh, co-host responsibilities on Facebook, then you've got access to share it. Dan, I can't thank you enough for waiting so long to come on and have this conversation with me in public. <laughs> uh, I, well i've gone through uh two uh um uh captain red bulls while waiting for you and one uh fine cigar so um well you and me had the fine cigar together at there least we go. had that going on us i uh I thank you very much for being here i got a couple of closing notes that i need to say and then we got a little piece of music that'll roll with you with the closing credits um did i miss anything um, no, just, uh, as we get closer, you know, um, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of folks, uh, that have good intentions, but if you're going to go post up, you're going to go. So you don't lose your spot. There you go. If you're going to go can make the commitment, <laughs> make the commitment, sign on and, and, uh, we'll get this thing done. And you and I will work together from now until that day to make sure that we've got all this, uh, everything that needs to be done. And we'll come up with a list of prizes for the people, the top three um, donation getters. So yep. getting gathering the donations will be part of the challenge as well. And as exactly. long as I'm saying that, just in case you just tuned in and you haven't heard me say this yet tonight, you can make your donations at goldstarride.org. Click on the Donate and Get Stuff page and as part of that website and make a donation. International Cigars, one of our corporate sponsors... Uh, has uh, agreed to throw out some cigars. For anybody who donates 25 bucks, just include a message with your donation that says you want cigars. Uh, Joe Schmidt was on earlier with his book, Silent Impact, and the companion piece, The Second Impact. And he said he would sign and copy those to the highest bidder. And the highest bidder has to go up in the uh, comment section of this live video feed right now. Aren't you glad I included you with all of that, Dan? Oh, yeah. Hey, you know, uh, <laughs> big thumbs up. <laughs> hey, Mike Ronowski wrote Harley Tracks across Vietnam to the wall. You can grab this one at harleytracks.com or send a message to us. Um, that was just for sale. Yours, very sincerely and respectfully, is the book about the Gold Star Ride Foundation. You can find that on our website, goldstarride.org also. And there might be a crawl right down there telling you to go to the website. And again, we still have the auction happening for two autographed jerseys, Stefan Diggs and Kyle the other Rudolph. Kyle Rudolph, as well as the auction for the 1,000-piece puzzle. Did I miss anything, Dan? Um, no, I can't. I can't think anything. You know, I, I guess I'd like to thank all the um, folks that you had on prior to me. Uh, a lot of good stories. Um, a lot of heartfelt stories. I, I, I mean, I was, uh, let's just say my allergies were kicking in on a, on a <laughs> few times there this evening. Yeah, let's call them allergies. Yep. And uh, Chaplain Chad, um, you know, my heart goes out to that man. He'll be in my prayers tonight. I, I couldn't even fathom doing that job. I, my, I, he's, oh, he's my new hero this evening. Um, you know, but, mine yeah, too. all these folks, all the Gold Star Ride families. You know, it's been said already tonight, these folks didn't choose to be Gold Star family. And nobody wants to be a Gold Star family. You know, it's something that is thrust upon them by no, by, they didn't do anything to get that. And they didn't want it. But I appreciate you is. saying that. So. I appreciate you saying that. Dan, thank you again for waiting so long and for coming on with us. Not a problem, sir. Remember, rubber side down. Awesome, always. All right. Good night, Dan. You bet. Happy Dan out. Uh <laughs>